Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. Today I've got something special for you. Everybody's been reaching out asking, what is your home golf simulator build? So it seems like a lot of people are trying to do their own home golf simulator build and they wanna know what I'm using and what technology as far as launch monitor, projector, computer, maybe screen, material, sizing, things like that. So in this video, we're gonna do a deep dive. There's a lot to cover, so be sure to tune in throughout the whole video, like and subscribe. Here we go. All right, everybody, so welcome outside of where our home golf simulator build is. I wanted to show you where the location was because that was the first thing that we had to decide and that you're gonna have to decide if you're looking to put a home golf simulator build in your house. So um, outside we just have some entertainment area for people to hang out. If we're playing with a lot of people, sometimes it might take a few minutes to you know, uh, get up to your next turn. So there's some games and stuff, places to set your clubs. Obviously you have the kids clubs, they love getting involved in the simulator. Before we dive in, let me tell you right now, this is probably the best tip you could possibly receive from this video. Keep a club washer outside your golf simulator because if someone goes in there with dirty clubs, they are going to wreck your screen. So something really important to pay attention to. So this room is actually a below underground concrete room in a basement that had double doors. And so what we did is we removed the doors. We had a carpenter come in and finish the entrance with like some dark wood so it would be a nice looking entrance. He put like a bar top style on the bottom which is super durable and awesome. It gives people an area to watch and uh, hang out, walk in and out easily. Um, the, the room size is a total of about 16 feet wide, 11 foot ceiling and the total room length is actually longer so you're looking at about 17 feet right here but the room length I want to say it was about a total of 20 feet but behind the screen there's a lot going on and we'll get into that. Let's talk about material first. This is one of the first things that is gonna give you the base of your simulator. So what I have here is this turf is actually a double padded carpet. So I can push right down into this. Uh, the reason that you do double padding under your turf is so you can recess your hitting mat like we did here. So this is a commercial grade hitting mat. Um, when you step on this, it's nice and firm, so you're not squishing all around. Gives you a good base to stand on. This is actually a commercial swing mat here, so you can hit off of this. You can see how that's nice and soft. In the center, that's the soft strike mat, so you can actually take an iron and hit down into that. And that, let me tell you, makes a huge difference. Everybody complains about their uh, elbows and wrists and everything, and that actually gives you an awesome you know, base to hit on. I'm gonna try to uh, lift it up really quick while I'm holding the camera and show you the foam underneath. You can see it there. So when you hit down into that, look, at, look how far down that goes. It's just fantastic, super easy on your hands and everything. Sometimes when I putt, I have to push it back down a little bit, but it's well worth it. Um, you have the rough and sand mat, which you can put a ball in and hit out of. Uh, I've been testing that with you know, HD Golf and as well as the Mevo Plus, which is sitting back here, which I do a lot of my videos on. And it reads all the way from the tee to the rough and sand, which is really impressive, because if you look at the distance here, I'll just kind of get behind it. Um, that's, that's quite a distance in between my center line, which is right here, and the tee and the rough, and it does a good job of reading that. So let's continue on material for a second, and it's gonna get a little dark in here. I can try to turn on, I have some auxiliary lights. If you have a nice dark room, which you want, this is something you might wanna consider. I have a switch over here that I can turn on and it gives me some spotlights up here that light up the room, okay? So when you're cleaning or doing any work, you have a lot more light. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to look at is this material here. This is a curtain, which is very thick, does a lot of things. One, it's gonna catch a ball. If someone hits one off on the side, it's gonna deaden the sound when uh, you hit a driver or something loud and it makes a huge difference. Up top are baffles and that is also a thick black material. If someone hits a flop shot and it goes too high, it hits those and catches the ball. It also detons sound. Um, that's an amazing material. I highly recommend it. Um, and it's as simple as just kind of, you know, you can see how it's just stapled up or really screwed up and just, you know, uh, looped down is all it is. Now the curtain is on a, you know, normal type uh, curtain rail, if you want to call it that. 
and that's nice for when you want to clean behind it. I actually put things behind it. I'll show you. Um, now this is based off of a high definition golf simulator. So this initial build was custom designed and built by the folks at High Definition Golf. You can look them up at hdgolf.com and they did a fantastic job. We designed everything inside of CAD and then from there they supplied most of these materials. Uh, I did work with a carpenter to do things as far as you know uh, getting all the electrical ran in the right spot, you know networking cables I did on my own, um, you know framing. So if you look at this, this is a really cool setup. This is the screen everybody's been asking about triple layer screen. So the outside of this screen is a really nice white material that gives you a crisp picture. I mean look how close we are to this image and you can see how crisp it is. I mean it's it's just fantastic. But the triple layer has foam behind it, then another screen behind that and that soaks the ball up, deadens the sound and really makes a huge difference. No ball shooting back at you, no super loud you know, uh, driver cracks hitting the mat. And then what they do is, you build a frame, okay? Your screen is bungeed and attached to a frame uh, that we actually mount against the wall, and everything's covered up with this simple Velcro and padding. And that way, everything isn't exposed. If you look back here, if I open this Velcro up, you can start seeing that framing back there. And I don't know if I can open enough up, up enough to where you can see it, but you can see that metal framing all hidden because we're using this material and Velcro to cover it up. So that's fantastic. Um, you'll see these cameras up here with infrared. That's part of the high definition golf system. Those are the stereo cameras for putting, launch angle, ball speed. Um, and then down here at the bottom, it's the same thing. There's a little ramp I'll kind of show you. You can see my hand go up, and that is for the bottom rail. That's a pad that goes over. We took the turf, which some people don't do, and we ran it right over top of that pad, which is really nice. Um, let's work our way around just a little more and tell you about the technology, uh, the base technology that is being used here. So the FlightScope Mevo Plus stands on its own as a launch monitor that is hooked up to my computer via Wi-Fi and the software on that laptop you see on the top uh, desk there that is running the simulation software that I use FlightScope Mevo Plus for that's kind of a standalone system on its own and then I have multiple inputs going into this Sony projector we can probably turn these lights off for a second so I can kinda I don't know if that helps or not we can leave it on um, this Sony is a VPL model uh, I think it's VH uh, VPL VH60 I don't have it right off the uh, top of my head uh, it's a 5000 lumen WXUGA which is that 1920 by 1200 uh, 16 by 10 format the beautiful part about that is is I'll show you the difference between HD golf and the normal simulator software or Windows like I'm running now now if you notice if we look at the screen you'll see some small black bars at the top and the bottom the reason is because I'm in a 1080p resolution right now. So you can run it both ways and it still looks fantastic and it gives you just a lot of versatility. So I really like doing that. The lens on there is a special lens. It's a short throw lens. If we stand back for a second, you can see how far behind the ball it is. It's only a couple feet and it's only roughly a foot or so off the ceiling. Yet I can walk forward and my head does not come into that screen until I'm well past the T. So when I'm standing on the T, I mean, even if I go forward of the T, my head's not in it. When I'm standing on the T, obviously doesn't obstruct that at all. Awesome short throw lens. So let's kind of just point out the hardware and everything really quick, and then I'll show you guys how it works, okay? So um, I have two swing cameras, and this is through HD Golf. These are 240 frame a second cameras. I did black and white because the quality of the image is better in my opinion. They actually suggested that. I have some camera mounts in the back for when we're doing videos. But that is the swing recorder. I can give you a demonstration of it really quick. And then over here, we actually have to take the curtain and move it back. You will see all kinds of goodies back here. I hide them behind the curtain, which is awesome. So let me turn this light on for a second and show you what that does. This is part of the other system for video swing recording. That is a high powered LED light. You can see how it shines right on the person swinging. 
And I'll give you guys just a quick demo of this in a minute because I've never demoed that before. I'll show you how it works. And then you can see the other high-speed camera down here, okay? So you have a face on and then a reverse face. Then over here you have all your multi-sport options for HD Golf. So I have baseball, hockey, soccer, uh, dodgeball, all kinds of fun games for the kids. And then behind that, this is a very impressive piece of technology. This is the body track weight and balance mat. And I'll try to get that a little closer there for you. And we'll try to just pull that up and show you how it works. I, I'm going to go into all that in a separate video, but I'm trying to do an overview for you guys so you can see everything. So let's take you through my computer cabinet and what all is in there. All right, so I already explained uh, the laptop. It is an Acer Predator Helios 900. That's a 4K laptop um, with a 2080 GTX in it. So that's going to be powerful enough to run pretty much any software. I have TGC 2019. I have Creative Golf 3D, E6 Connect, all kinds of good stuff. Um, and then as we go down, you will see I have a receiver, okay? And that receiver has multiple inputs coming from my laptop and HD Golf. It allows me to select. And then behind the screen are two Harman Kardon speakers. And the, I really, really like that setup because when you hear those sounds, you hear the ball landing, whatever it may be, it feels like it's coming from the screen. So that's why we have that extra room behind the screen because we actually have things going on back there, which is pretty cool. So then you go down to the HP desktop that is running uh, Linux for high definition golf. So they run a Linux system um, on a commercial grade desktop, which is fantastic. They're made to stay on 24 hours a day. Uh, has a Xeon processor inside of it. And their graphics card is a little different. It's more for CAD because that's the style of graphics they use. Um, all kinds of tees available. Obviously stacks of uh, Pro V1s, my favorite ball. Xbox controller because you can play goalie and stuff in multi-sport for HD golf. Uh, all the goodies to play the multi-sport. And then when we come up here, this is HD Golf interface. Um, you can go into the play mode and select all the different courses. And then you can go into competition and all the different things you can do. Games. I have all kinds of different games in here. Uh, one of the favorites is, is Pro Target Tour. Everybody loves that. I'm going to go over all that in a separate, separate video, though. This is to give you got the idea of, you know, the home simulator build. You know, how does this compare to the space you may have and what you need if you're trying to do things like this. So um, super, super easy interface to go through, okay? Um, and that covers most of it. I have a TV up above, which is really nice. I put it uh, recessed into the wall so it's not sticking out. Uh, that's just a 50-inch LED TV. It's well out of the way. doesn't get interfere with anybody, but yet you can see it anywhere you stand. And then overall, uh, other than the HD overhead camera. I'll explain how that works real quick. This system up here has two cameras built inside of it. It has a dedicated club camera, okay? That's going to read path and face angle. And then it has a spin camera, which is dedicated for spin. So when the ball takes off, that camera is actually measuring the spin of the ball, both the horizontal axis and the spin. And that's going to give you a precise measurement uh, as far as spin goes. Then those stereo cameras, are reading the launch angle and ball speed and putting. You put all that together with all the infrared technology to you know, properly have the ball appear in this dark environment, and that is how they are measuring the accuracy of each shot. So very cool. It's nothing crazy you know, as far as that system goes. Um, you know, High-speed camera system with some really cool software technology and algorithms in order to get to those precise measurements. Here's a little tip for you. This is a Nest camera that I have mounted behind and you can see pretty much the whole simulator perfect and the reason I put that there is just to catch the random shot that everybody misses. I actually had a hole in one just a little while ago on HD Golf and of course no one was down here and so I was able to pull that video up and have it afterwards to uh, have bragging rights of course which was uh, awesome. So um, something really cool that you could do in your simulator and review a uh, video later without even you know, having to do anything. So um, that kind of gives you a really good overview. Now I'm just going to give you a quick sneak peek of the body track system and the swing recording system 
in, that I have set up with HD Golf. I think that's something that we can just showcase really quick and then go into an in-depth video later. So let me just turn that all on. I'll show it to you guys really quick. And that will pretty much wrap it up for the home simulator build. So I really want you guys to comment below and let me know what you think. Um, let me know any questions you have, anything like that. And please subscribe and like. But hang tight because we're going to show you the body track system in just one second along with the dual swing recorder. So hang tight for just one sec. All right, guys, welcome back. We are here and we're connected to the High Definition Golf Simulator Swing Analysis Program. I have it connected to my body track mat along with a rear camera and a face on camera. I have my LED light on. Uh, that way you can see the image nice and clearly. I didn't really have time to adjust my cameras. You can fine tune them with focus and aperture and everything else. And I, I only, only use them every once in a while when I actually have a PGA professional over here. And that's the full disclosure. I'm showing you guys how this works today. I'm not a PGA professional, so don't use my data and what I'm doing, you know, to train yourself. Consult a PGA professional. That's what they're there for. So let's show you how this works really quick. I have a pitching wedge here and I have a ball right here. I'm going to put this right in the middle. And when I step on my body track mat, you are going to see that this is reading my back foot and my front foot. So right and left, it's reading my toes. You can see that going forward and back. Okay, and uh, it's obviously a super clear image up on my screen, but I'm just trying to do a run and gun, you know, quick first look at this and I'll do a deep dive video later. Maybe we'll bring in a PGA professional and show you guys how to do an analysis of your swing. So um, let's just go ahead and hit a shot. And what's cool is I can get set up and I can look at where my weight is on setup. So if I'm working on getting my, my balance between my left and, and uh, right foot, or my heels and my toe, I can look up there. That could be my face on camera, but I'd rather throw on the body track and show myself the data before making a swing. And so now let's just make a nice swing. My normal draw, not a bad ball. You can see I hit a couple of them out there. 125 yards, wasn't the best strike in the world, but it will give us a great example. And there is my trace. So let me go up. Hit the slow-mo button and it's going to show you the trace along with the face on camera. So let's hit slow-mo and you can adjust this to be slower or faster. And then watch this right here. There's my trace. When that club starts moving, my weight's starting to go on my right foot. And then you can see it start transferring to the center. And then as I swing through, my weight's going all the way through. I'm at about 80, 20 through my swing. And you can see that I was heavy on my toes when I was swinging. You can see how that weight shifted onto my toes up here. And I'm pretty sure, like I said, don't use my you know, uh, opinion, use a PGA professionals. Pretty sure you want this to really be straight. So it looks like I'm going a little on my toes here and it looks like I'm ending up on my heel a little bit uh, for a second. So let me show you what you can do once you have that. So you can actually take off the weight you can show a uh, front facing and a rear facing. Okay, so now I could drag this back to wherever I want. I could slow it down if I wanted to. I could look at, you know, my start point. Now check this out. I can go to an overlay, all right? I can adjust the size of the overlay depending on where I'm, I'm standing. Okay, just you're supposed to kind of like put it on the head like this. So it's kind of a good idea. And then there's the head there. That's close enough just to kind of show you guys how this is. And then what you can do is you can bring, you can play them together first off. Okay, you can lock those together. You can set the start points and have them go together. Or you can, let's say you're working at the top of your swing or a takeaway. So let's say that takeaway right there, I can move this to takeaway, line those clubs up, and I can say, hey, where's my body positioned right now compared to an optimal swing? It has that built in. Let's say you're working at the top of your swing. Wow, look how bent my arm is, I don't like that. I like keeping that arm usually straight. I don't think it's a big deal, but you can see right there that I'm a little far back and my arm is bent in my opinion. That's something I'm gonna work on myself. Like I said, don't take my opinion, take a PGA professionals, but that's the overlay, okay? Now let's use the draw tool. Let's turn the overlay off real quick. Let's use the draw tool and say that you were a professional in here coaching you could use your draw line, okay? And you can write different lines here. 
and you know show different angles of where things should be. Uh, you can cl you know clear those real easy. Draw on all all the different images wherever you want. It even has circles. So let's say that you wanted to start at the beginning and draw a little circle, okay, around a head like that, and and you're working on keeping your head steady. So now you can go slow mo and through the whole swing, see if your head moves or not, if you're trying to keep a steady head. So check this out, 240 frames a second. I don't even have it slowed down as much as you can. See if my head moves much. There's my back swing, moves just a little bit. I'm pretty happy with that. Like I said, I'll have to consult with my pro to see, but uh, not bad. So that is a sneak preview of the high definition swing analysis system and my home simulator build. So if you guys are trying to do your own home simulator build, I hope this kind of gave you an overview of how I fit mine in a room in my house, the technology I'm using, um, the way it's set up. But please comment below, give me your questions, give me your comments, tell me what you think, uh, tell me what you want to see because I can take the time to show you that um, and bring you the content that you're looking for. So uh, make sure you subscribe and like, I appreciate it. And as always, have a great day.